With every Flash project, the best way to see how it is actually working is by testing the movie. This allows you to see the finished product and what an end user would see. There are other ways of testing a movie, but this one is the most accurate in terms of how it will actually function. Before I show you how to test the movie, however, I need to show you how this project is currently saved on this computer. As you can see, the Flash file is saved in its own folder. This is important because when you test a movie, it will create a Swift file wherever the original file was saved. Before we talk about the importance of the Swift file, let's first test the movie. If we go back into Flash Professional, there's a couple of different ways that you can test it. You can scrub the playhead to see the animation in action. You can hit the return or enter key on your keyboard to see it play once through what we, ha we have on the timeline. Or you can actually hit the period key if you're back this way and it'll go frame by frame through the animation. So this is a good way of kind of testing and seeing if things are working, but it doesn't accurately reflect what the end user will see. This one is actually going to continue to loop as long as they have the project or the window open, but we don't see that when we test it here. So let's go up to the control menu, choose test movie, make sure in flash professional is checked, and choose test. The keyboard shortcut for this for a PC is control enter and for a Mac it's command return. When I click test it converts that flash file into a Swift file and plays it in the flash player. Now we can see how it actually is going to function for the end user. You can see that it constantly loops as long as they have this window open. So this is the best option you have for seeing what it actually is going to look like and how it's going to function as a whole. I'll close this, close this window and come back to my original flash file and you'll see that in addition to the flash file we have created a Swift file. This Swift file is important because if somebody doesn't own Flash Professional and it is kind of an expensive program, so if they don't own it, they can still see what you were doing in your project with the Swift file. So I can double click this and it'll open up in the Flash Player, which is something free. It's a program that anybody can download for free on their computer, and most people already have. So if you're trying to send this to a client and they don't have the actual Flash Professional program, they can at least open this and see what you had intended or what your progress is on a project. In addition, let's say you're sending this to somebody like an instructor for a class and they do have Flash Professional but you used a custom font called Blade Runner which is what I have here. This custom font is probably not going to be on their computer so when they open up Flash Professional it's not going to show up correctly. And that's why you want to send them the Swift file as well because it takes that project on your computer and bundles it all into a Swift file so they can see what it originally looked like on your computer and how you intended it to look no matter how it does actually look in the Flash program on their computer. So when you're sending these to people it's a good idea to send both of these files just in case. We don't always assume that people have the Flash program because again it is quite an expensive program and is only for professional animators.